Here's a problem about portfolios and uh, the weights of each component. So let's uh, quickly review what these weights are. So the weight in a given stock, and we'll just uh, say the weight in stock A, for example, is going to equal the dollars invested in A in the numerator scaled by the total dollars in the portfolio and the weight for stock b or any other stock in the portfolio of course would be calculated similarly and all weights are going to sum to one in order to account for the entire portfolio all right so let's calculate the weights for stock a and B individually. And so, okay, so in order to calculate these weights, so since there's two stocks, we're gonna calculate the dollars in each and then the total dollars, and then we'll do uh, the fractions for the, for the weights. And so first off, um, let's, dollars in A will be the share price times the number of shares in A. So that's 27 times 129 which is 3483. So again, that's in dollars. The dollars of B is gonna be price of B times the number of shares in B, 45 times 114. That's 5130, right? So, we got each of the individual investments, and so now let's go with the total dollars. Total dollars is just going to be the sum of those first two numbers. So that's 80, 6, 13. And finally, um, our actual objective here is to calculate each of the weights. And so remember, the weights for each is going to be the dollars divided by the total dollars. And so we'll put the weights over here, and so for A, and we'll call this WA, that's 34.83 divided by 86.13, which is 0 .4044. Wait for B is dollars in B divided by total dollars, which is 0.5956. So here's our answers. Now, quick note there's two stocks in this portfolio, and we know that the weights all sum to one. So once we've calculated this number here, we could just say one minus WA uh, to get this number. You'll see that those do sum to one. So in other words, if I already have WA, I can simply say WB equals one minus WA.